Hello, my lovely Leos, and a very warm welcome to your April 2023 horoscope forecast. This month, we've got a solar eclipse and we've got Mercury going retrograde. So let's break it down for you, my lovely Leos. On the fourth of the month, Mercury will come to join Venus and Uranus in your 10th house. So this could be some good news about a career, some good news about a move in general, some good news about some publicity, something that you've been trying to get out there for a while. Ah, there may, get, there may be some traction. A new project may come into your life, something you've been waiting for for a while, and it's like, oh, I'd really love to do this. So some new opportunities to do with work, to do with career, and also to do with what you enjoy doing and what you'd like to give to the world, to other people. Now, on the 6th of the month, we've got a full moon happening here in your third house. And full moons shine a light on a particular area of your life. And often it may need a little attention. So a full moon in the third. This is a wonderful time for looking at your skills. Are there any skills that you'd like to add to your portfolio? What is it you'd like to learn? Is there something you'd like to study? Is there something you'd like to teach and share with others? It's also a good time for meeting people. Are you being sociable enough? Is it, is it time to be a little more sociable or a little less sociable? But it's certainly good for networking and connecting with like-minded people. Now on the 12th of the month, Venus will go into your 11th house and this bodes well for friendships and relationships. A love may turn, sorry, a friendship may turn into a love relationship. It's an opportunity really to meet your soul tribe, people that feel mm, you're just on a resonant level with people. You may join an online or offline group uh, and you may excuse me, be working with people on something that where you share common interests about something you love. Could be knitting, could be animals, could be painting, it could be so many different things, but basically something that you love. And of course, for Leos, that brings out that playful child within you. On the 20th of the month, we've got a solar eclipse happening here in your ninth house. And the solar eclipse shines a light on this life area, maybe for up to six months. So this can be some travels. You might be planning a big travel or a trip somewhere that you've not been before. It's a great time for exploring, going on adventures. It's a great time for meeting people from foreign places. It's a great time for working overseas. It's a great time for learning and studying, especially anything in the spiritual field that takes your understanding of why you're here, what you're doing on this planet to a deeper and higher level. It's a really great place for that solar eclipse for you. On the 21st of the month, the sun will come into the 10th. And on the 22nd, Mercury will go retrograde in that 10th house until May 15th. So whenever Mercury is retrograde, especially in the, in the, in the 10th house, it's a good time for reflecting upon your career, your work. You might have some things you've been working on. You're coming back to them. You revisit something uh, and it, it somehow picks up some traction or something can complete that you've been working on before the retrograde and it completes during the retrograde. It's also a very good sort of time for finding something that you've lost. You've misplaced it and it's like, oh, suddenly turns up during a Mercury retrograde. And you may just be reflecting about how can I serve other people more effectively with the skills that I've got? How can I feel more productive and more useful in the world? So it's a reflective time. Now, Mars is going to be in your 11th house all month. So it's a great time for putting energy into anything esoteric, metaphysical, astrology, tarot, numerology, crystals channeling all of these things it's a wonderful time for putting energy into that and I think you get a lot of pleasure from it and uh, also anything to do with health and healing and well-being 
So I wish you a wonderful month, my lovely Leos, and I thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subbing. Bye for now.